people, what's up? It's your boy Xavier John and we are back again. We are currently at Mathiran. This is my part 2 of sightseeing at Mathiran. It's day 1 currently. I'm headed off sightseeing. So if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. And follow me for more content just like this. As I told you all in my part 1, they had predicted a thunderstorm today. This is the time we have arrived here today. It has been pouring immensely. So now uh, we are headed off since it's stopped a bit. So let's go and check out other stuff. Okay, so since we are out here and I'm pretty hungry, uh, we have stopped at a place called Garden View Restaurant. It's a pure veg restaurant. Now, in this restaurant, basically we just come for some evening high tea and snacks. Actually thought I'll just have some snacks, but now I'm pretty hungry, so we ordered for some pav bhaji. Let's eat something and then go ahead. Just had some pav bhaji there, it was amazing. Yummy. I can vouch for that place. Please go and visit that place, especially for pav bhaji, must say. And the tea over there as well was amazing. Khandala Point. This place is at a slope and it's pouring right now. But yeah, I told you nothing stops us, right? So we are headed off to Khandala Point. We've reached Khandala Point and <laughs> you'll be amazed to see that we can't see anything over here. Check this out. Wherever I see there's only fog. If you can see there's a waterfall down there. So we have stopped to try some corn. After a very long time I'm gonna have this corn. So basically when I was a kid I used to go out with my mom for evening walks. That's when I used to have corn. And now, after so long, in Mathiran. We are currently out in the market area to order something for dinner. So we just stopped at this place called Hotel Mejwani and we've ordered mutton biryani from here. Per plate cost is around 250 bucks. So we ordered two plates and uh, we've asked him to deliver it to our hotel room. So he's gonna come there at around 10 o'clock. Right now we have a lot of time at our hand. So we saw one point today, that's uh, the Khandala point and later we came down to the market area, we roamed around in the market area and now we are heading back home to our room. <laughs> it's day two at Mathiran and Let's head out just to check out the view. Just woke up. So that's our early morning view. It's raining and there's fog all over. Since yesterday, all I've seen is fog. 10 meters away and you can't see anything. It's day 2 in Mathiran and we've already left to explore Mathiran and uh, check out all different points but today uh, the fog is a little less so I'm gonna show you around I'm gonna show you my hotel because we could not see that yesterday clearly so that's Hotel Paramount and that's where we are living we've taken room number 117 so now we've come down to the market area and the place that we are going for breakfast is called Gokul restaurant I'll show you guys so this is a Jama Majid this is very famous here and bang opposite to this Jama Masjid is Gokul restaurant and this is where we are gonna head in for our breakfast 
so we've ordered some misal pav and uh, masala dosa so your misal pav is right here let's check it out how's the misal good good nice good. and order is also here masala dosa looks yummy try it on mama try Mm, nice. It's good. Good. So uh, we are done with the breakfast, and now we are headed off to Charlotte Lake. So Charlotte Lake is right ahead, and the weather keeps changing over here within seconds. It had cleared, the fog had cleared completely, but now again, it's all foggy everywhere. Dense fog. From this point on. we have this place here we have all these points we have the echo point, point luisa point honeymoon point, point malang point so all of that is right here so here you can see there's echo point towards my right luisa point towards my right sharet lake towards my left where we came from that's bazaar pet and police station so currently first we'll go to the sharet lake on the way to charlotte lake there is this bungalow which i have watched a lot of videos about this and i've heard from a few people that uh, this place this way is a haunted area and if you see over here there are a lot of statues over here and this place has been closed down for a while now There's so many statues There is a sitting area, dining area over here. This apparently used to be a hotel, but then uh, it's shut down for some reason, unknown reason. But they say that there have been sightings over here. That hotel wala hai, we last na nail the. Hmm. Sab statue, statue hai, wo kya hai? I've seen videos on this place. Apparently, this is uh, hotels. People used to come to live in all over here, and uh, later on they closed down the hotel, and now this is what it is. Abandoned. Interesting story, isn't it? So we are almost walking towards Charlotte Lake now. We have just reached Charlotte Lake. It's pretty windy over here, and check this view out. So right here, that's Charlotte Lake. So we are just walking towards Charlotte Lake. This is the waterfall, uh, the dam area of Charlotte Lake. And right ahead of me, we have Celia Point right there. But it's too foggy, so you won't be able to see much. But there's Celia Point, and there's a huge waterfall over there. Yo we are at Charlotte Lake. Check this out guys. So this is Charlotte Lake. Completely surrounded in fog. So we've reached the end of Charlotte Lake. Uh we've got a canteen right here. And that's the end of it. All you can see is a little foggy mountain there and the lake right here and that's my dad hi this is too much here what mobile catch properly we so yeah. much is this is too much man it's beautiful beautiful out here i wish i could see more but Apparently that's what it is. So Charlotte Lake was this side, and I showed you all the river uh, flowing out from the dam. The river flows straight to Celia Point. That's Celia. The wind is too strong here. If you see that's that Celia Point, you see those barricades put up. Go 
just that is the waterfall the huge waterfall you can't see anything right now and the force of water is too strong so i'm not going to go down down there but yeah let's see here point now we are headed off to echo point there are all these houses over here such abandoned houses there are many such abandoned houses here broken down rustic looks pretty good though for photo shoots at least and colorful ones as well i'll show you i can hear a waterfall but i can't see one but i believe there's a waterfall down there because i can clearly hear it feels like i'm standing on the cloud so this is the lane towards echo point apparently we were here but then uh locals are like this is not the actual echo point this is just like a sightseeing place you can check out the view but the actual echo point is down here so let's trek down this is the actual echo point and we are soon going to test it out okay i heard i heard yeah i heard i heard that i heard that i heard that echo crazy I heard that as well. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I did hear that. So yeah, this place works. This is an actual echo point. So we've just seen echo point, and now I see. Huh? There's a snake right there. Do you see that? Pretty huge snake. Yeah, it's moving his head. Okay so now we have been to uh, Charlotte Lake we've been to Echo Point and uh, it's too foggy out so we can't see much so we've decided now to go to the church one of the oldest church and the only church of Mathiran is right up ahead over here so we are going there so i'll just show you the way so you'll remember this point right so if you take this route this takes you to Charlotte Lake Echo Point and all of that and just besides that if you take this lane that goes to uh, the church and if you take this lane over here we have alexander point and all of those points right here so let's go to the church lane so this is a church of mathiran it's called the holy cross church it's the oldest church and the only church of mathiran hey then So we had been to the Holy Cross Church. This church has been closed since the lockdown, and they will have only one mass once a year during their feast uh, after the lockdown. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to hear the mass or anything as such. But at least we walked here. This church was built in 1853 uh, by the workers who were involved in the building of Mathiran, and. later on it was rebuilt in the year 1906 so it has a very old history pretty neat right now we visited the church and now i'm headed to alexander point alexander point is not much far it's right up ahead over here 10 minutes distance so let's check that out they claim that it has a breath taking view so let's see whether it takes my breath away or not Oh this is beautiful Wow Finally the fog has lifted and I've got to see something So beautiful Check this out You see multiple waterfalls here Over there as well This also looks amazing. Imagine being there. I must say, this is indeed breathtaking. 
whatever they said about this place is true. Mumbai! Whoa! Strong winds are blowing right now. I'm truly in love with this place. You see there? The rain clouds are surrounding us once again. My mom was holding my bucket hat and apparently I don't know where but she lost it. So since she lost that, I got this. Change is the only constant. <laughs> so it's 2.10 in the afternoon and uh, we are hunting for a place to eat. So I found this uh, Chinese place, Shalimar. So let's head in. Day one we could not roam much because there was rains first half of the day and on the second half of the day it was too dark, too foggy, could not see much. So we could not roam much on day one. But day two has been amazing so far. We've visited uh, all the different kind of points. We've been to the church. We've been to all the different places around. Uh, sightseeing was amazing. We had breakfast out, lunch out. And now it's almost 3 o'clock. We left at 9 in the morning. And it's 3 in the afternoon and we've just returned back home. I was a little worried to come to Mathiran, especially during the rainy season. It's because I was out with my parents and uh, I didn't want to risk it. I was in a doubt whether they'll be able to walk it off because we had to walk a lot over here. But they did it. A little surprised that they could walk so much. We started walking at 9 and it's 3 almost. So many hours of walk visiting all the different points from one point to the other and uh, they did it I just hope that they are fine tomorrow <laughs> you must visit this place especially during monsoons it's a different feel altogether the downside is it's too too foggy you can see that it's there You've got a very very thick fog if you go to a point you won't be able to see anything apart from fog that's the downside during rainy seasons Apart from that, the atmosphere is amazing, it's beautiful, it's chilled, uh, the rains, rains are a bit too much sometimes, <laughs> to be honest. But then yeah, uh, when it's not raining much, uh, the climate is amazing. Uh, so I've seen videos, I've seen people come to uh, Mathiran and I've spoken to a few people. Uh, most of them said that the food is expensive, but personally in my opinion, I did not find it expensive. Uh, a plate of mutton biryani cost us 250 rupees. Uh, fried rice, cheese on fried rice cost us around 240 rupees. So 30 40 rupees more than regular, which is okay. So I don't think so, it's that expensive um, in terms of foods. The stay is also pretty affordable, but if you're ready to spend, then there are hotels like Westland and uh, all the other hotels which will cost you around 2500 to 3000 a night so if you're ready for that kind of expense then sure go there if not then you can always visit paramount paramount is one of the best places at a budget so you can come here you stay with your family friends i paid 3000 rupees for two days excluding gst and that's that so yeah uh, we just reached a room so we'll probably chill for the rest of the day inside or probably just roam around a little in the evening i'll be ending my vlog here we are checking out tomorrow thank you so much for spending your valuable time watching my video if you've liked this video please make sure you like and comment your valuable thoughts down below and if possible please support my channel by hitting that subscribe button that means a lot to me so thank you so much Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless you. Stay safe. As I always say, keep traveling.